Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is a quick video on a little something that's pretty important in functions and that is called scope. So you can think of scope as where you are able to access a variable. And this comes into play when we have variables with the same name that are in a file and inside of a function. So we're gonna do some examples and uh, by the time we're done, I hope you understand the basic idea of scope. Okay, so let's look at a variable five and let's make, let's just, just make the variable five, make this really simple. Uh, so if I want to access this, of course I can print A out here, but if I come above this and try to run it, I get an error where A is not defined. I haven't created A yet. Okay, so I think we can agree that makes sense. You can't print something before you've created it. So let's go back here. Now, this variable has something which is called file scope. That means A is available anywhere in this file to any function or any loop or if statement or anything that is used after A has been defined. So anything down below A or any function that has been created can access A as long as that function is called after you defined it. So I'll show you what I mean here. So let's say I make a function and this function will be called foo and inside foo I print A and I call foo here. Okay. Now this should make sense to you. You say yeah well you create A and then you print A uh, but you do it down here after. So actually you this calls and it comes back up to here, prints A, and it will be five. So if I run this, I get five. Makes sense, right? But what happens if I put this up here? Okay, so now I've got the function before the variable. Now you might be thinking, well, that's not gonna work because you're trying to print a variable before you defined it. And that would be the case if Python cared about this function before you called it. So what I mean by that is when it reads through the file, when Python reads your file, it takes this function and it kind of saves it off to the side and nothing gets run, nothing gets executed. So it actually, it doesn't care what that variable is at all. It only cares about what that variable is after you've called the function. So down here, this is my function call. Only when you call the function does it care. So the file gets run, it takes the, the function, saves it off somewhere off to the side, creates a variable A, runs the function, and then when it comes into the function it says, hey, is there a variable A that I can print out? And yeah, there is because I already created it right here. So I can run this and I still get five. If I change this to 15, you'll see it prints out 15. Now the problem is, is if I take this function and I try to put it up here, now you're gonna get that same error that we got before. You run this and you say A is not defined. So there's a problem there. Okay, so let's come back here, let's use our function. And let's talk about the difference here uh, between this file scope and what I'm gonna call in here as function scope. So every function that you create will have its own scope. So it's kind of like the, its own private area where it can do anything it wants. It can use any variable it creates belongs to that function. So for example, if I create a variable called a, and I say hi in here, and I make the variable a equal to hi, if I run this function, what's it gonna print? Is it gonna print hi or is it gonna print 15? Well, you should say hi because obviously here it prints this out and then it prints this out. So if I run this, I get hi and it prints out hi. And if I were to print out a before this, I run this, you're gonna see that I have an error that says local variable a reference before assignment. Now this is kind of weird, right? It's like, well, if I, if I take this out of here, and I run this, I get 15 twice. But the minute you put this in here, it starts throwing up errors. 
And that's because now foo has its own variable a. So this very, it's looking and it says, well, there is a variable a in foo, but I haven't, it hasn't been defined yet. And I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need that variable here. So a is now part of foo. So I gotta take this out. And if I run this again, it will print out high. So when there's a variable inside foo, it doesn't matter where it is in foo. If it has the same name as a variable in the file scope, then you're gonna have conflicts. There's gonna be a problem if you try to access other variables. So if you try to access this 15, you can't because A is now created inside this because the A has function scope. And function scope is more important, meaning it takes precedence over file scope. So all variables created in the function belong to the function. All variables created in the file belong to the file. All right, so of the file scope. Now, the interesting thing is, is if you try to then come down here and print it out. So what happens when you try to print out A down here? Well, if I run this, you notice that I call foo and it prints out high, and now this A will print out 15. That's because when foo is done running, when you're done calling the function foo, Python forgets about this A in here. It says, hey, I'm done with that A. I'm done with the function foo. I don't care about high anymore. I'm done. So let's go back and look at what other A's we have. And it says, oh, well, there's an A at the file scope. And pr this print line right here, this print, this is also at file scope. It's in the same file and it's not inside a function. Therefore, this A is at file scope. So this A is more important than this A up here. Okay, so that's the basic idea, is, is scope is the area where you can access a variable. And this A, you're only able to access it inside of the function foo. But this A, you're only able to access it in the file scope and in functions where uh, they are being called after A is created and there is no other A inside that function. So if I create another function called moo and I print A inside this function and I call moo first, well moo is gonna print 15 because there's no other A in here and foo is gonna print high because A is in here and created as A. Okay, so I hope that explains what scope is. Just remember that uh, there's a difference in how the variables you can access or how you access variables based on where you define them. And a function can have its own, every function can have its own variable A and they'll all be different. So if I do this and I print A after all of these, each one of these A's, this A, this A, and this A, are all unique, they're all different A's. They're not the same variable. Even though they have the same name, they're all different variables. Because when you call the function, it creates this function scope in which this variable A can work. And when you call this function down here, it creates another function scope, okay? A different one in which this A can work. Think of it like, kind of like a, a sandbox. Every, every time you call a function, you create a brand new sandbox, and inside that sandbox, you can create uh, you know, your sand castles and all sorts of other stuff inside that box. You can play with everything in that box. When you leave the function, that, that sandbox disappears and goes away. And all the variables and everything that you built inside that sandbox are now gone. And we're back then to, we have to go back to the file scope or the file scope, you know, sandbox in which, in which, in which we can work. Okay, so that's scope. If you have questions, uh, you can leave me a message on the YouTube comments or you can leave me a message on the website. Okay, uh, I hope this made sense. Uh, we're gonna move on to some uh, uh, more stuff with functions in the next video. So I uh, hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.